Few murders have haunted the public imagination as Ian Brady did. Between 1963 and 1965, he and his accomplice, Myra Hindley, tortured, sexually abused and killed five youngsters before burying their bodies on the moors outside Manchester. There was a tape recording they made the last hours of 10-year-old Leslie Ann Downey as she begged for her mother. It was played to the jury at the time of their trial in 1966. The public are obsessed with me like Jack the Ripper, said Brady. On the night of July 12th, 1963, 16-year-old Pauline Reed became their first victim. She was kidna kidnapped by Hindley while on her way to a local dance, then driven up to where Brady was awaiting their arrival. Reed was raped, beaten and stabbed before being buried. Four months later, on November the 23rd, 1963, 12-year-old John Kilbride disappeared from the vicinity of a market in ashton under Lyme, never to be seen again. On June 16, 1964, 12-year-old Keith Bennett disappeared while on the way to his grandmother's house. His disappearance was not noted until the next day, and a massive police search revealed no clues. Hindley had in fact lured him into a car with a request for assistance in loading some boxes, then met with Brady on Saddleworth Moor where Keith was taken by Brady to a gully next to the stream, then raped, strangled and buried there. On the afternoon of the Boxing Day holiday, 1964, 10-year-old Leslie Ann Downey disappeared from local fairground and again a huge police effort strengthened by volunteers unearthed no clues as to a whereabout. Um, I describe my Hindi and Ian Brady of two of the most evil people I've ever met and they are evil beyond belief and maybe the pair of them tried to fool the prison authorities with their mind games by playing mind games about, you know, their state of mind at the time that they actually committed those murders. And not everybody that commits a murder is psychiatrically ill. And probably they weren't psychiatrically ill, but they tried to convince us. And every time they tried to convince us, it just twisted that knife in the wounds of all of those families a little. The evidence linking Brady and Hindley to John Kilbride's murder was not as strong, but proved sufficient to charge them, with the result that they were charged with the murders of Edward Evans, Leslie Ann Downey and John Kilbride. Despite exhaustive searches, the bodies of the other two victims could not be found and no charges were brought. On May the 6th, 1966, Brady was found guilty of the murders of Leslie Ann Downey, John Kilbride and Edward Evans while Hindley was found guilty of the murders of Leslie Ann Downey and Edward Evans, but also for harbouring Brady, in the knowledge that he had killed John Kilbride. They were both jailed for life with a minimum recommended sentence of 30 years for what are today known as the Moore's murders. Ian Brady went on hunger strike at the high security Ashworth Psy Psychiatric Hostel in October 1999, demanding the legal right to starve himself to death rather than serving the remainder of his life in prison. This demand was refused by the Hall High Court in March 2000, which upheld the hospital's right to force feed him. Brady died at the age of 79 in 2016. Hindley died November 2002, age 60.